Sagittarius, my name is Christy Rabinat, and this is What's in the Stars for You for the month of September. There's a lot of change that's on its way for you. There could be employment change that happens. There is some relationship changes that's being inspired in a positive way. There are new opportunities that could come from the past through ideas, through clients, through friends, through contacts, anything along the lines of that is being sent your way. Part of the reason is because we have Mercury going into retrograde at the end of the month, but we have a pre-shadow that happens, and that is September 7th, and the post-shadow ends the 1st of November. So what happens with regards to the timing of all of that is that we get revisited by things from the past that is unfinished. Sometimes they're feelings, sometimes they're hurt feelings, sometimes they're people, and it doesn't have to be a negative thing. So often we think of Mercury in retrograde in a negative way. It's rarely that way. It can sometimes be an inconvenience, but there's always a reason why there is an inconvenience. But for you this month, it's all about bringing new opportunities your way. It's about bringing new ideas your way and starting to set those in motion. Now, I know those of you that follow astrology go, wait a minute, Christy, I thought we weren't supposed to do anything new when Mercury is in retrograde. Sort of right. Not always, but sort of right. But you can definitely set things into motion with regards to it. And just because, say, you sign a new contract for a job during Mercury in retrograde, it doesn't mean that you're going to lose that job. A lot of times it means that you're just not going to stay in that position for forever and there's going to be new opportunity that comes. We cannot stop our life because of astrological changes. Heck, we have had every pretty much planet that's been in retrograde this year. It's been pretty intense and we can't hit pause on our life because of it. And that's what you're being challenged with this month, Sag, is that they want you to look at options. They want you to look at changes. What do you need to change? So there is a deck of cards that I have here that's called Messages from Heaven and I want to shuffle them and choose one or two for you. There's two that kind of popped up and they're a message with what you're supposed to be working on this month. So the first one is, let us hug you. Close your eyes as we hold you close. So do you need some extra love? Are you missing your loved ones on the other side a little bit more? That's what that message is. The second one is focus on the positives. You know there are many and guess what? There's many coming for you. Music